And welcome back to All Over the Map. Thanks for tuning in. We've got the 100 wealthiest towns of the United States of America. This game, created by Ultratech66, is uh, based upon a Bloomberg list of the richest towns or cities in the United States based upon household income. So we're going to get a lot of uh, major city suburbs. We're going to get a lot of probably big homes and neighborhoods. That's what I'm thinking on this game. Uh, I think we're going to have fun with this one. We're going to explore the wealthy towns in the United States, and we're also going to try to figure out how to help you identify parts of the country based upon the home, architecture, and the landscape. So let's get into this. Maybe a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be a three-minute round time, no-move challenge to play along. Link in the description below. And if you see any of these towns or cities that you've either been to or you live love to hear from you on this um, because, uh, yeah, we're going to get some interesting places uh, throughout the United States. An interesting home, this one, it looks like it's um, three different homes in one. you got the garage that was added on. I think the original home looks like it was probably just here. Then they added on this, and then they added on the garage. Um, nice home. Looks like there might be a pumpkin there. i got the American flag, the... American flag out front, and I was going to show you a white picket fence, but there is a picket fence. It's just not white. It's black, and we got the brick fireplace. Interesting home, this one. This feels, yes, this feels northeast to me. This feels, I won't say New England, but this uh, this is East Coast for sure. Uh, there's the minivan, the obligatory family minivan. On big homes that uh, seemingly are put together... Uh, like this edition, this was the original, looks like, actually that looks like the one from Home Alone, they're putting up, uh, or kind of, but the Home Alone had stuff up top, or those windows up top, um, white license plate, likely Massachusetts on this one, um, so what I'm thinking, yeah, I mean, the trees, I'm looking for white pine trees. I don't see them. I just see, well, that, are those white pines? That might be, as I say that, these, I say these trees back here but are, can be the white pine trees. So that could change things a little bit because I don't know if White Pines go as far north as Boston. That's where I'm thinking on this one. I'd like to say this is New Jersey, but the license plates look white, which are Massachusetts. I just forget if Massachusetts has got plates on the front. Um, you know what? I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with Massachusetts. I'm going to go to the Boston suburbs. Um, place like Wellesley. Um, let's go to Newton. Now this. South. Yeah, let's go to Hinkley. Let's go there. Oh. What a good guess that was. 9.4 miles away. What a great way to start this game. We weren't in Newton. However, we were in Winchester, uh, right outside of Boston, um, at Yale and Warren. Yale and Warren. Um, if you're from the Boston metropolitan area, or if you've been here, there's Lexington. Um, what is your favorite Part. What is the nicest part of Boston? That's the other thing. If we get to these places, what's the wealthiest area? And um, also, what do you think the home values of the, those homes were? I've got to think they're a couple million dollars there, maybe 1.5 to 2.5, maybe 3 million, some of those homes. I mean, I mean, that might sound crazy, but in the East Coast cities, Boston, New York, you might uh, be surprised or shocked at the values of the homes and probably a lot of places. Um, stone wall. We've got a sign here. Walking of dogs prohibited on this property. Uh, got it. Now, here's the other thing. 
this is East Coast. The reason why this feels East Coast to me, and this could be anywhere, but the um, backstop for a baseball diamond along with the dugout is um, chain link fence. And it just seems, I don't know, it just seems East Coast. And we've got a Range Rover. And um, somebody sitting in the Range Rover. And those are Jersey tags. Uh, New Jersey tags is what we have. We see ourselves right there in the car. Uh, New Jersey, northern New Jersey. Car, okay. Um, hmm. An old looking school, playground, and um, no dog walking. Somebody walking there, but not walking the dog. Um, we're northern New Jersey on this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's go for, got something in my mind. I'm thinking, I don't think we're the big homes of Ramsey and Ridgewood here. These, I think they're more, the bigger homes are up in this area, Wayne. I'm thinking we're like Livingston, Florham Park. Is that where the Jets are? I'm going to guess that we're probably around here. That's just... A, maybe this is Florham Park. Or are they Floral Park? Florham Park or Floral Park? I don't know. Morristown Airport. Cedar Hill Country Club. Um, Shake Shack. So... Essex County. South Orange. No, I think we're... We could be New Providence Summit. I think we're out here somewhere in Chatham. Let's go for that. Oh, and we were 19 miles away. We weren't there. We were actually where I was saying a little earlier, Ridgewood, Glen Rock. So we were in Glen Rock, New Jersey, one of the wealthiest towns or cities in the United States. So we were on Hamilton Avenue. Um, I guess these just look to me, again, these homes look nothing massive or spectacular, but people living in New York live in Glen, Glen Rock, likely. This is where I live in New York, work in New York City. They live in Glen Rock, and those homes there are probably $900,000, $800,000 to a million one. That's just my guess. I You could correct me on that. I would love to know your guess on these uh, locations of what they are. Third round, we've got feeling West Coast. This almost feels that house there. These that house there. I know it's not. There's got the, the the leaves are changing on that tree. But this house, if you ever recall, there's a show in the 1980s when I was a kid. I was a kid in the 1980s, just to date myself a little bit. And early 90s, that was called the Wonder Years. And the Wonder Years was Kevin, and I think his when he was his crush. But I feel like a house, This he lived in a house exactly like this. Not this one, that one. from like, And it was set in the 1970s, so these homes had to be built in the 70s. Yeah, California. Uh, palm tree, the hills to the west. Um, I got to think this is L.A. Um, yeah, if anybody knows that and is, and is listening, please comment because I feel like this is almost that it just looks like that. And I know it was set in California. Um, in any case, I, I could be totally wrong. It just, it just got, it's got that feel. It just hit me. I haven't seen the wonder Years show in probably 20 or 30 years, but uh, nonetheless, another telltale sign that you're in the United States in a wealthy town is you get this Lexus. I think it's an RX 300 and you see normally, not uh, general, generalizing here, but uh, women, older women, uh, driving this vehicle. For whatever reason, soccer moms in some cases or soccer grandmas are driving that vehicle. At least that's my what I've seen uh, out and about throughout the United States and driving through some of these locations. So at minute 11, we're going to go in. I, we're squeezed between mountain ranges, it seems. Looking north, there's nothing. 
Uh, hopefully this is not up near San Francisco, but this could be like a Burbank area. Burbank, is that where we're thinking? Burbank, North Hollywood, Van Nuys. I think we're probably Van Nuys. Northridge, maybe this is Northridge. I was thinking of Northridge, Woodland Hills, and Encino. I think we're in this area. That's that's just my feeling. Thousand Oaks. Um, Northridge. I think the Northridge earthquake, right? Well, that's where I'm going to put it. Let's go for that. And there we go. What a 19 miles away. I'll take that one. 4710. And we were in La Canada. La Canada. Flint Ridge on Milmata Drive. I guess a lot of those homes, I think those homes were probably built in the 70s. If anybody, again, has any idea about that, I'd be interesting, inter interested to know uh, if that uh, was in fact in any type of movies or that style of home. I'm sure it was. It was got to be around here somewhere. It just is very reminiscent. Um, I wonder what the price of homes there are. I have no idea about California or Los Angeles real estate, so somebody will have to fill me in with that one. Uh, 19 miles away on that, um, just north of Los Angeles. Okay, so this looks like a Texas, Texas style home. Texas, I don't know. This, these look like, although this is probably not. Uh, no license plate. This could be Texas. This could also be Atlanta. Oh, because of the hill. Yikes. Um, interesting chimney. You don't see this up north. There's a truck. There's another truck. But the trees aren't Texas. The trees aren't Texas. In fact, Not sure. This 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 is probably Atlanta. I'm gonna guess this is Atlanta metro area, and it's probably gonna be wrong. Um, because it seems like it could be the East Coast with some of the trees and like I didn't mean to do that. And the like rolling hills a little bit. The style does not say you know mid Atlantic Northeast whatsoever. Um, I don't see. Crepe myrtles, which are kind of. This could even be like, I don't know. This is this is a tough one, for me. No license plate on the front. Might throw a curveball here for everyone. And uh, I'm going to go far, a little further north of this. I'm going to go Nashville. <laughs> Let's go Brentwood on that one. I'm just, that's my final answer. And we were St. Louis. Um, wow. Okay. The reason why I started going northwest of Atlanta is because I saw a tree there without the leaves at the top, which normally, um, I know it could be some fungus or stuff like that, but sometimes it could be cold weather, a cold, colder winter um, that destroyed some of the trees. But we were west of St. Louis in uh, town and country. So interesting. If you got that one, good for you. Um, that was a tough one for me. I, I don't spend much time in this part of the world. Um, so... Again, it was 
it was a mix of some northern landscape with the southern home. I mean, that was just. And then you had the uh, ranchers there with the with the um, poles or whatever they are called, um, pillars, pillars. That's what they are, pillars. <laughs> that reminded me of homes in North Carolina. You see a lot those single single story homes with the pillars, with the brick. But um, yeah, St. Louis threw me for a curveball on that one. Well, we get the fifth and final round, and we are out. We are out there. Wow, we you you want to talk about different landscapes here? Uh, wow. We've got an eastern looking style looking home. I don't know what that one is supposed to be. We've got like the star of Texas over here. We're on a hill. Yeah, this is probably California with these types of trees here. Maybe. It's very dry. Uh, then we got pines. No palm trees anywhere. And then this style that reminds me of the Southwest. So we got a lot of things going on here. Um, part of me wants to say this could be like Colorado. I don't know why. Like Denver? I just wish there were mountains. That's south. So the mountains, if anything, would be to the west. Uh, if we're in Denver. Um, yeah, because if this is California, we'd see definitely palm trees. Do we go with Colorado? There's just one place I'm thinking of, like with this style of here. Uh, and we got these, I forget what kind of pine trees are, but there's, um, here's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is like that Cherry Creek area of Denver, which is a wealthy area. One of the wealthiest areas in the country, if not the wealthiest on this, on this list, I think. But then again, I, I think it's, that's too close. Like Castle Pines. I wonder if this is it. Castle Pines. I might go there. That's what it, 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 it would Castle Pines be on this list? Maybe. Because this list doesn't necessarily mean it's towns. But I also was thinking of, oh, it could be Lone Tree too as well. Um, but just the way that it's dry. Because I know Colorado gets, I'll tell you a good fact here in a second. Um, Cherry Creek is around here. Again, one of the wealthiest areas of Denver. Wealthy area. But I think these these this type of road is probably a little further out a field from where it's been a little more established. But I'll leave it there. Um, it was Denver metropolitan area, and it was probably Cherry Creek, um, Cherry Hills. There you go, Kent Denver School. It sounds like a okay. So that that was good. That was a good guess. Um, as you see there, you see Denver's, that, that was a variety of different architecture with the, uh, it looked like an East Coast home, looked like homes from California or the Southwest. So there's a combination there. The Kent Denver soccer field. Um, but what's interesting, what I was going to tell you is, and I don't think many people know this about Denver, is that Denver, Colorado has more sunny days than Miami, Florida. I think it's like 300, 300 some days of the year are sunny in Denver. So if you want a lot of sun, a lot of great weather, go to Denver. I mean, I'm, I'm serious. You can even get warm days in the winter and then it, up here in Winter Park, Keystone, Breckenridge, it's snow and it's cold. Uh, one of my favorite cities in the United States, one of my favorite areas is this area out here in, uh, in Colorado. So that one's a good one. Wonder what the cost of values of homes here are uh, we did get um, St. Louis, and I would argue that St. Louis, so if, let's take a look at this. Let's take a look at this list. What do we get? We got 21191. Okay, so we missed the St. Louis one. Pretty decent there, LA, Denver, 
uh, New York and Boston. So a little diverse, uh, little diverse, diverse round or diverse game of wealthy towns. Um, let's say the homes in this area. Let's rank the home value or home prices. It's probably one for New York, the most expensive. Then Boston or LA, probably tie. Then Denver, and then I think St. Louis is probably those homes there. You probably could get for half the price in New York, at least, if not more. Um, so, is the household income the same? Probably not. Um, but that's kind of the some of the games people are playing this day and age in the remote world of work. Is wait, why do I need to live in New York, paying uh, you know a million dollars for a home when I could live in Indianapolis or I could live in Salt Lake City or Dallas for a fraction of the price with the same income. So those are things that are happening in the United States. Thought it was interesting this this game and uh, 100 wealthiest towns in the U.S. If you beat me on this one and you're from the outside of the U.S. You, United States, let me know. Um, love to hear how you did it. The one I'm curious on is St. Louis. Unless you're from there or unless you've been there, did you get that one or the one in Denver? I thought those two are the most challenging rounds of them all. With that said, appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in. Until next time, cheers.